Hello Peter, these are your carburetors. I uh, took them off, uh, made some other adjustments, and I, I don't like to give up on a set of carburetors if I can help it. So I think I've improved them. Uh, you certainly can compare um, your the previous video with this one, but um, let me see, let me show you what I've got so far. You're running. Get the camera in here closer. And we're up to operating temperature. Because I've already been testing and adjusting. So before we had some uh, pretty high values on our on our second barrels, which is what uh, may, which has to do with uh, the idle. And so right now we're running five here. And Five and a half there, which is pretty darn good for uh, carburetors that were not machined. Um, now then, our, um, we can check our first barrel here. We're running four and a half, and get the camera closer. Running four and a half, and here we are running. Five. Let's see, just a little bit over five. So let's go ahead and, and dial this one up over here and get it up to where it's the same. There, just a smidge above five. See if this one changed any. Smidge above five. Okay, and we got a solid idle at the uh, 1100. Now, let's see if anything's changed. The idle is up a little bit. That's the uh, fun of self adjusting carburetors. So, let's see what changed. Uh, we're up to seven here. So, if we push on the. Yeah. So, what I did was I pushed on the counterweight back here. Yeah, you can't see. Pushed on the counterweight back here. All right, let's see what this guy's doing over here. Yeah, it looks like that one stayed about the same, but we'll push on the counterweight just in case. That one, that one changed a little bit. Okay, so what we've got is the, um, again, is the second barrel of each carburetor is our, our problem area. And not much you can do about that without the machine work, so. The idle will vary a little bit. Right now we're back to 1,100. So we picked up, now we're about 12 or 1,300. And not much you can do about that. Unless you just come out each time and push on your counterweight. So I'll try to make some more adjustments, but um, we're doing pretty good so far. The only other adjustment you can make in a situation like that is this little bitty set screw back here. I'll move the... Uh, this little set screw right here. So I'm going to adjust that and see if that's going to help us. And what I'm trying to do is adjust it to where the... That little set screw is connected to the first barrel and that's connected to your return spring. And what I'm going to do is adjust that screw down to where it affects and what works on the second barrel butterfly shaft. And we'll see if maybe one can't artificially close the other. So, alright. Let's give it, a, give it a try here. That helped a little bit. And up a little bit, let's try over here. Alright, let's check our readings. Four and a half, that's good, that's even better. Get this in here closer. What that one say? That one says four and a half, almost five. This is four and a half. 
and this is what does that say? Five and a half, almost six. So that's that's the fun of the self-adjusting carburetors. You never know what they're going to do next. Now we'll adjust the idle mixture screw. See if it needs to do anything there. They should be still in adjustment, but we'll go ahead and play with them just for fun. Half turn. Two halves and so you have idle degrades, so we'll bring it out a half. And another half. Picking up a little bit. Starting to degrade, so we screw it back in. Let's get a midpoint there between the two. And let's go up here. Now this guy. In about a half. Alright, it's starting to degrade, so we're uh, idle degrade, so we we'll bring it back out. Let's see if we get the other extreme. Starting to degrade, so we're back in. Get a midpoint somewhere. See how that just. Okay. Let's double check our readings. See what we got here. Four and a half. A little bit over five. Alright, a little bit over five, almost six. And that one's up to up to six. And so we we push on the push on the counterweight on the second barrel, you see how much it drops down. Let's check this one here. We push on the counterweight. So that's, uh, that's the difference in wear, worn out carburetors and uh, machine work. And so I think I have improved these uh, dramatically and you'll be a lot, you'll be much happier. And uh, that is pretty nice. I like them. I'd put them on my car. I think we did pretty darn good for you. Thank you, sir.